stay in the Isle of Wight, we explore the west side of the island. Today's vlog is about the second day where we focused on the south. We started the day with a typical English breakfast in Shankly Hotel. The first location to explore was Shanklin, where our hotel was located. Firstly, we started with the beach, where we had to pay for parking again and where the wind was just as strong as yesterday. Good morning from the Isle of Wight. Today is our second day here and we stayed at Shanklin. Freshwater Bay for its beauty, Shanklin Bay is certainly a lovely place to spend a nice afternoon. Next stop, Shanklin Chai. Today all of the parking spots that we have found so far are all paid, but you can pay using an app, which is what we're doing. And next we're gonna go to the Shanklin Chine, which we're gonna see during the day, but also in the evening because they have like a light display, which is quite nice. So the parking in Shanklin Chine, or at least next to it, is quite limited, so most of the time it will be full. We had to come to a nearby area where we park our car. Prices are generally 150 per hour. If you pay with the app, however, you will have to pay an extra 20p. So that will be 170 per hour. Being interrupted by a group of Vespers, we made our way to the entrance of Shanklin Shine where we paid £6.95 each. The tickets are valid for 7 days where you can come and go as much as you would like and in specific months you can visit in the evening when there is a light display all over the park. And in case you're wondering, Chine is a word used only in the Isle of Wight and Dorset area and it means a deep, narrow ravine where water flows down to the sea. Even though some people said you could spend two hours here, I think you can see that even in a shorter time. Uh, because of COVID-19 there is like a staircase that generally takes you to the old village, that's the last spot in the map or the furthest away from the entrance. Uh, but because of COVID-19, since it's quite a narrow uh, part of the uh, narrow path, you can say, it's a narrow path, then they decided to close the staircase, which is a shame, but you can still see pretty much almost everything. There was 30 to 40 minutes, more or less, so not even an hour. We'll come back later on at the end of the day, just to make sure we see the light display, which should be nice. Next stop was Shanklin Old Village, where the staircase I mentioned would take us to if it was opened. Leaving Shanklin, we drove to God's Hill to the spectacular Appledore Comp House. This was once the grandest house on the Isle of Wight and nowadays is open to the public. The best thing about it? Free entrance.
about every single place you visit, then you would love to know that a later owner of Appledore Comp House, Richard Worsley, became famous for a scandalous court case in which his wife, Seymour, admitted to having had 27 affairs. What a life! Next up, Model Village. So the first stop in Gotchill was the house we saw it previously. It used to be one of the most famous and biggest houses in the island, but then eventually got abandoned. So now it's not really, but you can still go and visit and the building is quite nice. And now we're going to visit the Model Village in Gotchill as well. This is an area where you can find like those cute houses like we did in Shanklin and you can also go to a very popular coffee shop that has the cream tea the tea with scones and cream uh, that is quite popular in the Isle of Wight as well each to visit a one-tenth scale version of two of the oldest tourist areas in the Isle of Wight, which happen to be the ones we explored so far on this day. Yep, you guessed it, Shanklin and Gotshill, just like they were on the 1920s. by the beautiful Leo's Tea Gardens. The Mother Village costs just under six pounds per adult and we spent half an hour there, maybe even less. It's a quite small park so you can't expect to see a lot really. And now it's time for lunch. We might eat around God's Hill. After looking for a place to eat and not find one we would actually like to go, we decided to head over to the next area on the map, Vintner. Next stop is there. And we're here. So you know what that means. Steps! I don't know how to more rapidly. Steps, it's going more rapidly. Yeah. Let's go, steps. Work those legs. Work, work, work. Steep Hill Cove is a quite popular spot in Ventnor, and some people even claim it as the prettiest place on the island, which I certainly disagree after exploring the Isle of Wight during three full days. spot in Ventnor is this side of the town next to the coast. We left Ventnor towards sundown where we would stay the night and have our late lunch. On the way there, we passed Shanklin Hold Village once more. Always a pleasant sight. We 
chose an Indian restaurant where I went for the house special and pila rice, and Joel chose mixed biryani. Before getting to our hotel, we went down to the beach for a lovely stroll, ice cream and sunset watching. Definitely the most beautiful one we saw in this long weekend. because we're feeling quite tired at the end of the day we did quite a lot and Sandown is actually the town where we will be sleeping at tonight so probably we're not going anywhere else really <laughs> I don't feel like it and tomorrow we're gonna explore the east side of Yelland so yesterday we went to the west and then today south uh, tomorrow that will be east and north so yeah um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, leave a like and a comment and if you have any questions at all uh, on the Isle of Wight, please let me know in the comment section down below as well so I can help you guys maybe on your next trip. And if you come to the island, you're definitely going to like it. <laughs> Bye! At the end of the day, we checked in at Oyo Marina, a two-star hotel with very affordable prices for this region. if you still remember but no we didn't manage to see Shanklin Chine light display in the evening well I guess that's gonna be for our next visit to the Isle of Wight